All right, fuckers and fuckheads, just to show y'all that I'm always thinking about motorcycles, I'm down here at Marine Dynamics in Inglewood, Florida, and when you call this place, that guy right there, that Don guy, that's the guy to talk to. It's 698-1444, area code's 941. But look at this shit here. This is a motorcycle guy's heaven. Okay, yeah, these are meant for the side of a boat, but looky here. You want LED lights for your bag? They come right out of there, and all you have to do is cut a flange about the same as what they already had, slip them lights in there, put that clip in from the back, boom, you got LED lights on your bags. Let's see what else we got here. How many of y'all have been replacing fuse boxes lately? Look at this right here. Nice weatherproof fit right under your seat. You got all them terminals, make it nice and easy for you. Nice waterproof, not just weatherproof. Ah, we got marine grade switches all over the place. Waterproof fuse holders. Um, now, you want an idea for, you know, your OS, some guys are, I'm always telling them about these pop-off breakers. Well, there you go. There's your fuse replacement. Just use these little pop-off breakers, and they come in various sizes. These are C-choice. They're, ah, you want a waterproof ignition switch? and you can't afford the Honda one for your old CB350 or CB750, you know what? That hole fits right in the Honda thing. It doesn't stay in place as good, but a little bit of epoxy will fix that. Just put a little epoxy on that lidge. And uh, there's you, a brand new switch, fully waterproof, ready to go. Uh, you need an idiot light for your neutral because you're too stupid to remember what gear you're in? There you go. There's an easy one, nice and quick. Um, hey, Drew. Oh, are there any um, mini lights like this around? Like panel lights? Anything out in the open that I can just shoot real quick while I'm doing this? Okay. They do have those little mini panel lights that are about the same size as what's in your instruments anyway. He just doesn't have any out at the moment. Ah, you need gauges for your old console on your Goldwing? Ha <laughs> ha, look at that. And that one is liquid filled or some shit. I don't know what the deal is, but I know that these needles don't shake when you're going over a bumpy road. Same with their temperature gauges. Um, they've got oil pressure gauges, of course. But, uh, hey, marinas are a wonderful place. Um, what else we got here that we could use on a motorcycle? <laughs> you want a weatherproof GPS, these are the guys. Um, and by the way, the Garmin, um, the Garmin Marine units, most of the better ones will take um, regular land maps and they will do your routing. Um, and I don't know about the rest of the Ray Marines, but I know my A65, I've got regular routing for it. And I've actually got that tied into an aircraft EIS system. Uh, uh, yes, Yamaha guys, you guys are going to love this. You want to save half the fucking money on your oil filters? Find you a local marina. Every single time they are going to be half the price of most of the cycle shops. So well, that holds true here. And it's held true about every damn marina I've ever went to. Um, you don't have any ring free out? Shelf down, big bottle of green. It's ah, there we go. Free Yo, Yamaha two-stroke guys, there you go. There's you a way to clean your reed valves real fucking easy. Um, there's you a way to loosen up your stuck rings real easy. And I don't know about storing with that stuff, but yeah. you can. It's got the fuel additive and the ring free. It's got thing. both? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, it's got both in it now. Um, so if you're storing it for the winter, that's some pretty good stuff. I mean, these boat guys use it all the time, and I've seen these boats sitting on the rack for a year, and they still start. Um, something in that actually makes the ethanol gas storable for more than six months, whereas, like, stay bill, six months, you better be draining every drop of that gas out before you even try and fire that bike. Um, you want to save some money on, uh, some oil? Um, look right down here. You synthetic guys, that Volvo Penta oil, 
It's cheaper than anything you're going to find. Avoid that quicksilver shit in any motorcycle I've ever seen. The Evinrude two-stroke oil and the Yamaha two-stroke oil, they're about the same thing, but for what you guys are paying for um, at Walmart versus just buying a big jug right here, um, you buy a big jug right here for, uh, what is it, what is that, 40-something bucks for that big jug, the two-gallon jug? 90? Yeah, Okay. Okay, so you're only saving about 30 bucks versus buying it um, pint by pint. And for you guys that are running shaft drives down dirt roads, there is nothing I can recommend better than uh, just plain old SAE 90, that Quicksilver Marine. Um... But uh, if you're running, if you're not running down wet dirt roads and through creeks and shit, don't run that shit. Don't run that for a daily driver. That's for off-road only. And that's not because of heat or anything. It just, it doesn't seem to like rear ends for more than a day or two at a time, and it's pretty much shot. I mean, when that's used in the water, the water is what keeps the gears cooled off, so that's what makes it happen. Um... You know, the lower unit of the boat is completely, uh, the boat engine is completely in the water. So that's what keeps it cooled off. But for all you guys crick running and playing on the sand roads down here in Florida, that's some good shit to have any, to have any differential on your shaft drive on the days you're doing that. It saves you god awful amounts of time changing seals. That's also a good trick for you guys with four wheel drives too. Um, put that shit in there on the days you're going out to play and then uh, when you come home that night put your regular gear loop back in before you go using it for your daily driver what else we got here we can use on motorcycles uh, inline fuel filters they're about the same price as everywhere else oddball hose barbs mm, I don't see I don't see anything. They can order them small, but I don't see any off the shelf, so we're not going to go there. Um, hmm. Let's see. Hey, looky here. See that right there? That's a trailer light. It costs you about 35 40 bucks for one of these. The LED's already in it. It's got stop and brake. You see them two bolts? All you need to do is, if it's a Honda, all you need to do is wall her out just a hair off of one side of the holes where your light mount is. That fucker will fit right on there. Um, come on, what else we got that you can use on motorcycles here? Hmm, ah, you quad runner guys, same lanyard, well, all right, I'm about to rest, but I know on uh, Yamaha, that's the same lanyard as... For the jet ski as it is for their little four-wheelers oh and for you guys that are always uh, you know I still solder them together me but uh, right, above right above me there we are you want weatherproof waterproof connectors that are hassle-free hey keep some of these in your tool bag so if you do have something screw up while you're out in the middle of nowhere, you can fix that shit. I mean, these are real quick. Just hit them with a, you know, crimp them, hit them with a lighter. But uh, me personally, I still solder all my connections and then shrink wrap them. But uh, keep you some of these in your tool bag for them times when you need to get your ass home. Cotter pins that you can't find nowhere else. Oh, and them uh, sear pins like in the transmission. These marinas are a godsend, okay? It doesn't matter which marina, even West Marina is a godsend for those stupid sear pins. Um, metric hardware that you can't find and you want to find it in a good stainless grade, pick your favorite marina. Uh, what else we got? Um, and like I say, I'm down here at Marine Dynamics in Inglewood, Florida. 698-1444, talk to Don. <laughs> and no, they ain't paying me for doing this shit. Um, Hey, wait a minute. Have you guys ever paid me? <laughs> uh, 
I think I've lost more money on this place than... <laughs> oh, what else we got here? Uh, ah! Now you can order the tiny battery boxes for the guys that are stuffing the big batteries back in their saddlebags, right? Okay, he nodded his head, yeah. Um, and marine grade battery connectors, I'm not seeing, but I know that they have them. Um, and the rubber on these, okay, this is a power post, but the rubber on these battery, these marine grade battery connectors is about 10 times as thick as what you get when you buy one from Honda, Yamaha, Suzuki, or any of them. Um, even Napa can't match the marine grade shit. Okay, you're, you're, you're back, so anything else here we can use on motorcycles? What we got back here? You got a what? Oh yeah, that's right. These guys are now Ivanizing. Let me get that in there. They are now Ivanizing fuel injectors for all brands of engines. Um, and then, you want to explain what they do when they do that? I mean, it is basically take them apart, make sure everything's right, clean them up, mm -hmm. and all that shit. Okay, y'all. Ah, here's the machine they use. And he's going to give us a demonstration here. Well, he fired it up. And yes, folks, this same machine does diesel injectors well for the newer computer-controlled diesels. And it cleans them, and I'm pretty sure they change the O-rings and anything yeah. else while they're in there. Yeah. And y'all all know my cutoff date's 1990. I won't work on anything newer, so that's why he's demonstrating this. My race bikes always get brand new. I've never had a rebuilt one. I'm going to bring that, the ones out of that s red down here just to see. Do a comparison. Boy, I screwed up that s red again. I had um, race gas in there from that track up there by Orlando. Mm -hmm. And it's got MTBE in it. I'm coming home. I put ethanol in it because I thought it was the same as the Cam 2 race fuel. The regular what you get up here at Sunoco. Yeah, halfway home my curbs are gummy. <laughs> <laughs> Only it's not curbs, it's injectors on that one. Okay. Oh, it even shows you the spray pattern. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, while he's doing that, there is plenty of stuff at these marinas that you can use on motorcycles. Uh, that's the hard kind. Um, and they do have alcohol re rated fuel line at this one, um, but like the local West Marine doesn't. Of course, the local West Marine sucks dog crap. They're kind of small. Um, Strangely enough, the um, I've been getting my um, the ends for my when I'm making my brake lines. I've been getting them. They use the same ends on some of these uh, outboard motors for that hydraulic steering on them. On some of them, not all of them. Let's see what else we got here. We got uh, huh? Suzuki genuine parts, and those oil filters again are the same. But generally, it's been my experience, Marina and marina and dealer are about the same on suzuki filters yamaha filters you'll save you some money and by the way these guys here they can order any part you want as long as you've already looked up the original part number um they can order any parts you want for anything yamaha um 
motorcycle, ATV, water sports, whatever you want. Um, he doesn't have any. They're usually a really good source for loose gasket material for making your own gaskets, but he doesn't have any out right now. I haven't been down here in forever. Um, let's see what else we got. And by the way, these uh, marine grade electric fuel pumps, just watch your pressure. You know, look up what you need for pressure. Um, they're about the same price as the Napa and Mr. Gasket fuel pumps and generally a lot better made. Um, sometimes they're 10 or 15 bucks more, but you know, hey, it's waterproof, weatherproof. Whereas uh, like a Mr. Gasket 12S, it's meant to stay behind... Um, Yes, they can order. Um, they can order Honda stuff now too. Hey, is your Honda deal the same as your Yamaha deal? Where I remember no, we when don't, I we don't have any Honda at all anymore. I mean, okay. Barely, okay, so they 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 whatever's left on the Honda is what they got. Yeah. Well, I remembered on the Yamaha that I mean I wanted when I was still playing with this whole thing we used to any part I wanted as long as I looked up the part number Ed could order it <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Not me. So this is the place they need to come if they just want to know if the damn thing's bad or not. How much you charge just to check one out? Five, ten bucks, whatever. It, it's like um, if they've already the got full, it off the, the bike full, and they brought it in. Yeah, the full thing is probably like forty bucks for a complete run through, cleaning and everything. Okay. Yeah, twenty bucks to check it out. Twenty to check it out. Forty for a complete run. And that's if they've already got it off the bike. Right. Can't stress that enough, yeah. folks. These guys will not take it off the bike for you. They're a marina. Was this like a sodium bath or ultrasonic? What they do is they put them in, they power it up, so they're actually running the injector like that. Yeah. It's in the back. Oh, cool. It's a little nasty. It's like 1100 injections so far. Yeah, but that's squirting a full. Yeah, that's well, about most of it's all pressure. Yeah, yeah. It's, all pressure. Yeah. it's just measuring the coil and the it heats it up. Make sure it stays around the water. Now, is that like my old snap on one um, where if it detects heat, it'll just keep running the test until it finds fail? Okay. It'll just, it'll, it runs, it's time, and it's just going to give you the readings on each It's replicating 1,666 RPM, 
Y'all ever wondered what your injectors are doing inside your engine? That's 1,666 RPM at, uh, looks like about 3 PSI. Or no, PSI is here, so that's about 45 PSI? Now you know what goes on in your, inside your engine. And for you guys with all them little crotch rockets that are wondering why you pissed that fuel away on drag day, you just seen that. And that's a static flow, that means steady flow test. That means you're running 12,000 RPM and you're going to run out of gas before you hit the end of that quarter mile. <laughs> Alright, we'll holler at y'all fuckers and fuckettes later, because I wish you can think of anything else they can use. Alright, we'll holler at y'all fuckers and fuckettes later.